Are you ready to flee? The year 2020 is packed with slashers, so you do not trip because this is the Top 10 Best Horror Movies of 2022. Number 10. The Requin Terror has teeth. Jalen, played by Alicia Silverstone, and her husband Kyle arrived at a remote Vietnamese seaside villa for a romantic getaway. However, a storm swept through the small villa and left them drifting on the remains of their cabin. During their storm, Kyle was badly injured, and it seems help won't come anytime soon. To top it off, there are sharks lurking around them, waiting for the slightest opportunity to devour them. Do you think they'll manage to get away from this situation? This terrifying setting in the middle of the sea was written and directed by Vietnamese director Lee Van Keet and hit theaters on January 28, 2022. It lasts one hour and 29 minutes, and the critics say The Requin achieved satisfactorily its goal to entertain its viewers despite the fact that some parts may feel very plain. Anyway, we're just starting off. Number 9. Orphan First Kill The prequel to Orphan, the successful 2009 horror film, has finally arrived. In this new installment, Isabel Foreman returns as Lena Klammer, who is a woman having a disease that makes her look like a child, but she's actually a serial killer who's more than 30 years old. Macabre, ain't it? In this film, we'll find out what Lena did to escape from the Russian psychiatric hospital where she was confined, and to deceive a family to get to the United States. This film was produced by Dark Castle Entertainment and doesn't have an official release date yet, but it's expected to hit theaters in 2022. What's worth pointing out is that Isabel Furman stated that she didn't use CGI to play her nine-year-old character. This was something easy when Orphan was filmed in 2009 since the actress was 12 years old, but for Orphan First Kill, Furman had already turned 24. We'll have to wait a bit to see the result. Number 8. Halloween Ends The end of the new Halloween trilogy will hit theaters in October 2022. Halloween Ends will conclude the story that began with Halloween in 2018 and Halloween Kills in 2021, which, in turn, were planned to be sequels and reboots of the classic movie saga of horror that began in 1978. If Halloween Ends is added, the saga will have 13 films in total, and Jamie Lee Curtis, the lead of the first film in 1978, will return once again as Laurie Strode to have a final duel with Michael Myers. Halloween Ends will also feature other actors who appeared in the 1978 film, who will team up once again to help a new group of young people stop the killer in the mask. The plot is poorly known, but this film comes from one of the quintessential slasher sagas, so we can have a feeling that terror and bloodshed are guaranteed. Number 7. Jeepers Creepers Reborn they already finished this film in February 2021, but due to the pandemic, they haven't released it yet. However, everything seems to indicate that it'll hit theaters throughout 2022 in the near future. Jeepers Creepers Reborn will be the fourth film in its saga that began in 2001, and is already considered a horror classic at the level of Halloween or Friday the 13th. Once again, the creature appears in the city, aiming to claim a good share of blood, just as it's always done every 23 springs for 23 days. On this occasion, the new lead is named Chase and, along with his girlfriend Lainey, who has visions about the creeper, goes to a horror fair in Louisiana, being totally oblivious that the past of this city is stalking them every second. Will they manage to survive? Number 6. Firestarter it was taking me a while, but of course, I've included a movie based on a novel by Stephen King on the top 10 list. This time, it's Firestarter. Here, Zac Efron will play Andrew McGee, a loving father whose daughter has developed the ability to set things on fire with her mind. After a few incidents, a secret government agency realized the girl's gift and will do everything possible to capture her and change her into a mass destruction weapon. Will Andy be able to protect his daughter? We'll find out this May when Firestarter hits theaters. One fact that'll probably catch your attention is that this ain't the first time that the Stephen King book has been adapted to the big screen, as there's a 1984 movie. But if you've already seen the trailer for the 2022 version, produced by Universal Pictures and Blumhouse Productions, I'm sure you'll agree that the new version looks awesome. Number 5. Texas Chainsaw Massacre the Indiscriminate Bloodshed is now available on Netflix. This was released in February 2022 and is a direct sequel to the 1974 classic, but set 50 years later. 
In this new installment, a group of businessmen goes to a remote city of Harlow to value the properties and sell them. However, they run into an elderly 70-year-old Leatherface who won't find their visit pleasant. Another character that comes back from the original saga is Sally Hardesty, who was the only survivor in the first film and is now a tough ranger in the area. Unfortunately, this character couldn't be played by the original actress Marilyn Burns because she died in 2014. So that's how Olwen Foray takes the role. 2022's Texas Chainsaw Massacre was produced by Legendary Entertainment and raises a return to bloody horror that hasn't been seen in a long time and has received mixed reviews. Number 4. The Black Phone In Colorado, a serial killer, known as The Grabber, has abducted a shy 13-year-old boy and locked him up in his basement. The little boy, named Finney Shaw, screams for help, but no one can hear him. However, there's a broken phone in the basement, and Finney receives calls from previous victims of the killer who, are you? who try to help him so that he doesn't suffer the same fate. The Black Phone will be released on June 24, 2022, and has already been rumored to be one of the best horror movies of the year. The killer is played by none other than the four-time Best Actor nominee Ethan Hawke, who also plays Arthur Harrow in the MCU's Moon Knight series. Do you want to know something disturbing? Variety magazine described the film's trailer as something scarier than the Delta variant of COVID-19. Yikes, that's hair-raising. Number 3. Salem's Lot It seems that the cinema is dying to adapt everything that Stephen King writes. Salem's Lot is based on another novel by the American author, with the same name, and it'll be released on September 9, 2022. However, this isn't the first time that this 1975 book is adapted to audio-visual format. In 1979, it had a miniseries. In 1987, it had a movie. In 2004, TNT made another movie for television, and in 2018 and 2021, the series Castle Rock and Chapelweight referred to it, respectively. Go ahead and use everything I've told you to get an idea of how acclaimed this literary work is. Besides, this new version promises to surpass all previous adaptations. The story is about Ben Mears, played by Lewis Pullman, who's a writer who returns to his childhood home in search of inspiration. But the only thing he'll find out is that there are vampires attacking his hometown. Now he must join a group of survivors to deal with this supernatural threat. Number 2. Morbius Why is a Marvel movie included in the top 10 list of horror? Well, Morbius won't be a colorful movie like Spider-Man or The Avengers, but it'll turn dark and violent in the style of Blade and Venom with an extra dose of blood. Jared Leto surprises us in the role of Michael Morbius, a biochemist who turns himself into a sort of vampire due to a failed experiment. Now he must try to control his thirst for human blood because when he doesn't consume it, he turns into a beast that hunts at night. Morbius was produced by Sony in alliance with Marvel and raises a dark and terrifying adventure where the lead is the enemy to defeat. It was shot in London between February and June 2019, and it was expected to be released in July 2022, but the pandemic struck again. Still and all, Morbius will finally hit theaters on April 1st, 2022. It'll be a perfect opportunity to bring fans of Marvel Horror and 30 Seconds to Mars together in theaters. After everything you've seen, what could be the most anticipated horror movie of 2022? Get ready, because here it comes. Number 1. Scream After 25 years, someone has put on the ghost face mask again to commit horrific murders in the town of Woodsboro. A new group of teenagers must find out who the murderer is, as they clear up mysteries from the town's past. Luckily, they have Sydney Prescott this time, who's played by Nev Campbell. She's a survivor of the original incident and will help them deal with the new impersonator of the killer in the mask. The fifth film in the Scream saga was released on January 14th, 2022, and distributed by Paramount Pictures. Also, it was announced as a relaunch for the franchise, so we'll hear more about the saga in the coming years for sure. Therefore, because of all the hype and expectation it brought with it, this film takes the first place. What do you think of this list? Did I leave any movie out? Mention it in the comments, and while you're there, like this video and subscribe to my channel. This is gonna be a big year for horror, so here are more options. Don't miss them!